Alright, so in today's video, we're diving into a key topic in understanding chemical bonding, atomic orbitals, and quantum numbers. These concepts form the foundation of how atoms bond and interact in chemistry. Each electron has a specific address within an atom defined by a set of quantum numbers. These numbers describe the size, shape, and orientation of atomic orbitals, and understanding this will help you grasp bonding in organic chemistry and beyond. Let's jump in. Quantum numbers are a set of four values that describe the unique position of an electron within an atom. According to the Pauli exclusion principle, no two electrons in the same atom can have the same set of quantum numbers. The four quantum numbers are principal quantum number, AN, defines the energy level. Azimuthal quantum number, L, describes the shape of the orbital. Magnetic quantum number, ML, defines the orientation of the orbital. Spin quantum number, MS, specifies the spin of the electron. These numbers are like an electron's home address, telling us where it resides within the atom and what kind of orbital it occupies. The principal quantum number, N, represents the energy level of an electron. The larger the value of N, the further the electron is from the nucleus and the higher its energy. For example, an electron in the NR1 shell is closest to the nucleus and has the least energy while an electron in the NR3 shell is further out, occupying a larger, higher energy orbital. Next up is the azimuthal quantum number, LL, which describes the shape of an electron's orbital. The value of L depends on N and ranges from zero to N1. Each value of L corresponds to a different orbital shape. L, by your zero, uh, S orbitals are spherical. L, minor year one, P orbitals are dumbbell shaped. L, minor two, D, orbitals have more complex shapes, like clovers. L sarcomber 3 F orbitals are even more intricate, but are less relevant for organic chemistry. In organic chemistry, we mostly deal with SI and P orbitals, which play the biggest roles in bonding. The spherical S orbitals and dumbbell-shaped P orbitals are critical in forming bonds between atoms. The magnetic quantum number, ML, tells us the orientation of the orbital in space. For a given L, there are two L plus one possible orientations. For example, for L optier one P orbitals, ML can be one, zero, or plus one, corresponding to the orientation of the orbital along the X, Y, or Z axis. This orientation is crucial when it comes to bond formation, as the way orbitals overlap depends on how they're oriented in space. The final quantum number is the spin quantum number, MS. Electrons can spin either up, plus one, two, or down, one, two, and this creates a magnetic field. Each orbital can hold two electrons, but they must have opposite spins, one with plus one, two, and one with one, two. This rule ensures that no two electrons in the same orbital have the exact same set of quantum numbers. Now that we've covered quantum numbers, let's tie this back to bonding. Atomic orbitals overlap when atoms bond. The way these orbitals overlap depends on their shapes and orientations. For example, S orbitals overlap to form sigma, S, bonds which are strong and stable. Meanwhile, P orbitals overlap side to side to form PI, P bonds, which are weaker than sigma bonds, but crucial in forming double and triple bonds. To better understand atomic structure, let's visualize these orbitals. The S orbital is a simple sphere around the nucleus, while the P orbital is dumbbell shaped with the lobes extending in opposite directions. The D orbital is more complex, with four lobes forming a clover shape. While D and F orbitals are important for transition metals, in organic chemistry, the S and P orbitals play the most critical roles. Let's recap what we've covered. Quantum numbers describe the location, shape, and energy of electrons within an atom. The principal quantum number, N, defines the size and energy level of the orbital. The azimuthal quantum number, L, determines the orbital's shape. The magnetic quantum number, ML, tells us the orientation of the orbital. The spin quantum number, MS, describes the electron's spin. These quantum numbers help us predict atomic orbital overlap and bond formation, crucial for understanding molecular structure. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. For more in-depth learning, visit King of the Curve for interactive tools to sharpen your skills. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your studies.